there's so many facets of our job as sales engineers that we constantly juggle between. If you missed that video, watch it to learn what a sales engineer really does. I get anxious when I think about all the things I still have to learn in order to be really good at my job. I feel like I'm always behind and trying to catch up. How to break out of this pattern and stay sane and grow as a sales engineer in 2022? In this video, I'm sharing my own strategy. Stay tuned until the end for a bonus advice. Hi, my name is Sasha and I work as a senior sales engineer for a leading cloud software company. Like this video and subscribe to my channel to learn how to become a better sales engineer and never miss videos like top six sales engineering skills in 2022. How do you get really good at all the aspects of your job? Or how do you learn all the technologies you need to know in order to be really good at doing your job? The secret is you don't. There's a reason why you're not the only employee in your company. Everyone has their own trait, their own strength, and we all work together to complement each other like in a big orchestra. Instead of trying to be the jack of all trades, which is anyway not possible, I will focus in 22 on getting good at only one specific thing. And for me, that is going to be Python and all the wonderful things I can do with data using Python. My goal is to become the go-to person in my company for questions on this topic. And this is my advice. Get really good at only one thing. Double down and become an expert on one topic and your growth will be recognized. What do these people have in common except greatly contributing to space travel? Well, they all were ahead of their times in all aspects of their lives. They were doing things outside of their comfort zones and they were being laughed at and ridiculed by the whole world for that. And they prevailed. Now, you don't necessarily have to go against the whole world to grow and be successful. I personally like doing things within my comfort zone. I like doing things where I'm good at and that's very natural. But only doing things that I'm comfortable and good at also means that I'm not getting better, I'm not growing. For me personally, public speaking is something that's outside of my comfort zone. For you, it might be something different. So doing things outside of my comfort zone is making these YouTube videos. And I was super skeptical about it. I was embarrassed to show my face to the whole world. And also it takes a lot of energy. But something really unexpected happened when I stepped out of this comfort zone. I realized that I'm having a lot of fun with these videos. I love every aspect of it. So try stepping out of your own comfort zone like those people successfully did. Likely, you'll be rewarded by having fun, learning new things, and growing. Work from home is not going away. I talked about it in several videos, like what is metaverse and how it's going to change business forever. For us working in sales, it means we sit way too much and we move way too little, so our body is not getting the exercise it needs. Our brain doesn't get the stimulation it needs because our days blend into one another between the bedroom, kitchen, work desk and the TV. I started working from home seven years ago, long before Corona. And a couple of years into it, I started having these really bad back problems. They would wake me up from my sleep, usually early in the morning. I went to a doctor and he told me that the cause for this is that I moved way too little. So he said, why don't you just start doing some simple sports like jogging, you can do that on your own and super simple. And I started running and I felt immediately better in my body and in my mind. In the winter months when it's usually too cold outside to jog, I do workouts. I have an app and it has like a special program for me and that's what's keep me moving. And as soon as the days get longer and warmer, I go out and I do a lot of gardening. And this is my hobby, physical activity in the fresh air combined with brain stimulation of being in the nature. Nothing special really, but it does wonders for me. So find a hobby, it doesn't have to be sports or gardening, it can be something else like learning to solve a Rubik's Cube, you'll be the star of an evening, or learning to ride a horse, or starting an ant farm or a worm farm. Do anything outside of your work that will make your days look less like a routine and likely you'll be rewarded with new ideas and new energy that will lead to personal growth. I know from my own experience that best ideas usually come to me when I'm doing something completely different. How do you know if you're getting better at something? Well, naturally, by getting feedback from your manager, from your peers, family, friends. 
But the problem with feedback is people usually mind their own business and it's very hard to get some voluntary feedback. So what you need to do is go out and ask for feedback. If you're doing a demo for a customer, ask the customer directly after the demo for feedback. If you're writing blog posts, ask your readers for feedback. Always ask for honest and direct feedback and especially ask for negative feedback because the negative feedback will tell you which specific things you have to work on to get better. Positive feedback is great for the ego, who doesn't like to get a pat on the back, but negative feedback is what's moving us forward once we're past the pain of receiving it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Stay healthy and stay tuned.